What's up, y'all? So, good morning. Today is Saturday, October the, let's see, the 22nd. So, y'all, I'm getting ready to go to homecoming with my best friend. Y'all know she graduated, period. Now, I don't ever really go to homecomings or been to homecomings for real because, you know, I didn't go to school. I don't think I've been to no, like, I don't think I've been to none. Y'all, excuse how I look. So, let me tell y'all. I'm rushing home because I had got up at 8 o'clock this morning from her house to come home to get ready but my ass was drunk last night like i was leaving work y'all i was drunk and y'all let me tell you being in your feelings and drunk like that's not a good to like so some shit hair went down last night y'all and y'all my feelings was just so motherfucking hurt and let me tell y'all like as a Capricorn, you know we're fucking sensitive, especially when it's about some shit like that we care, somebody that we care about or some shit like that. We just know how we motherfucking get. So, y'all, let me tell y'all. So, yeah, I was in my feelings last night. And then I was ugh, drunk. So, y'all, I had to go to my best friend's house because, you know, either my best friend or my uncle, that's just where I feel like comfort, you know, and I need to be comforted or whatnot. So, I had, um, ended up going over there. But, y'all, so then she got me up this morning at 11 so I can come home and get ready and come back so we could go pregame before we go to tailgate. Well, we're going to, uh, a pregame brunch that her friend Ray is doing. And then we're going to the tailgate. Um, yeah, my ass was hungry as fuck on the way here. And I stopped, I was gonna stop at, um... Waffle house, but then I ended up stopping at my uncle's house and asked him to fix me some breakfast. So I thought the breakfast, y'all, I didn't feel good, so I had just laid down and went to sleep. And then I was not really gonna go no more, just gonna go to the later on events. But then I felt fine when I woke up, so I said, Uh, let me call this bitch and tell her that you know, you know, I'm running behind, but I'm still coming. So yeah, now I'm rushing to get ready, so I just got the fuck in. I'm finna do my edges first. I'm finna do the edges first, and then I'm fixing to get in the shower. Well, I have to find the outfit, y'all. I have to find the outfit. Then I have to get in the shower, and I'm finna take these lashes off because I only wear the lashes in the club because, you know, in the club it'd be dark. And then, you know, it just make you pop. But in real life, y'all, I don't really like lashes. Like, they feel like they just look too much on me. Like, I don't like makeup in general in real life. Unless it's, like, professionally done. And, you know, they know how to do, like, the little soft glam look. They know how to do shit that go with your face. Like, me, I'm not professional with the makeup. So, if I end up doing my makeup, y'all, I have to sit there for, like, a good, like, hour or two and concentrate. And really concentrate on it. Because I'm not really... Makeup is not my thing. And y'all have so many edges out because y'all know I was wearing the wigs. And I was not properly doing like the little ball cap method shit. And yeah, I was not properly doing the ball cap method. And it was sitting on my edges a little bit. Because I was being lazy. I won't do that no more. But I was being lazy. And, um, yeah, I was being lazy. And, yeah, and now my edges are not what the fuck they're supposed to be looking like. So, when I got these locks, I had to have her leave out with my baby hairs. I know I have hella baby hairs, and my forehead is really big. I have hella baby hairs that sit out on my forehead. Yeah, they're not giving what the fuck they supposed to gave so i had her leave some of my edges out so we can you know come say for that y'all because i cannot not have no edges like i'm not one of the people who could just not have no edges my forehead is way too big for that i have to have edges yeah, my forehead is way too big for that i have to have edges so Y'all, and I ain't used this gel on my edges, but I like this gel. Like, the, it did what it needed to do. This is, um, this Eco Styler Booster Gel.
Okay, we're gonna tie these down. I really don't be liking like the brush forward and then boom. Like I really be liking the like the little swoop, swoop, swoop them type of edges. But the, these are like some cover up edges. So they have to come down and swoop like this. So hopefully when they dry, you know, they look more natural. So don't come for me too much. Don't talk about me, y'all. Y'all see, y'all see how the real baby is right there? Like they they're trying to grow back in. They trying to grow back in. Cause you see how far the shit come down? Like the shit come down here. Like it be down there. And I could tell. I could tell when see come off of her look real big right now. Like my baby hair is coming like all the way up here. Like I could tell when I don't have no damn edges and I don't like that. I don't like that. So I could tell. Okay, boom. We don't tie these edges up. Period. Then this gonna stay on here until I finish getting ready. Till I'm getting ready to walk into my out to my car. So boom. That's that. I'm finna jump in the shower. I'm finna get these clothes. I'm finna jump in the shower, and then I'll be back to y'all when I get the outfit. And you know, I'm finna walk out. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Period. I think I look good. Hmm. Okay, let me put some more outfit, y'all. I don't want y'all to see my bed because I kind of tore up my bed. Let's see, y'all can see. Boom. These the boots. Amazon the pants. I think it's um the pants is from Marshalls or all something like that. This shirt is from Sheen and the jacket is from where did this jacket come from? I just got this jacket too. The mall. Uh pink clothes. So yeah, this me y'all. Hey y'all. So let me tell y'all. Hey, this is Monday the 24th and we just finished um homecoming. So let me tell y'all about that. No, I did not go to school, but my best friend did. And she hasn't been to homecoming since her freshman year. And she's two years younger than me. So she was so excited. Y'all know COVID happened, all that. So she was so excited to go. She was so happy to take me because I never been to homecoming. And this was her school. So she was just so excited to take me. And y'all, it did not happen. It did not happen. Like, she's so blow. She's so blow, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of blow. I'm not blow this her because it was her homecoming. But just so much stuff happened. Like, we're really blowed. And I feel bad. We'll have another chance to do homecoming. But, you know, I understand why she's upset or whatever. So let's get into the story. And I'll be inserting clips and stuff of everything because it was real wild. Like, when I say wild and crazy, it was real wild and crazy. But, so, anyways, y'all. So, um... These are my locks, y'all. My butterfly locks. Let me tell y'all. Um, my friend Trinity, Trans by Trend, she did these locks. I will have um her info in the description below of my locks and whatnot. Okay, if y'all live in Atlanta and y'all want, she's in the Riverdale area. She do travel though, so y'all know I say on the west side. But I went to Riverdale. You know, it's not too too far. I went to Riverdale and got them done. But um, yeah. So let's get into the story, y'all. So boom. So Friday night, y'all, I ended up going and working at the club. Y'all, let me tell y'all, I wasted my money. I did not make my money back. I did not. I did not make my money back. I was upset. Um, and then it was just some other stuff, y'all. Friday night, it just wasn't a good night. Fuck it. We got homecoming, so I wouldn't need to worry about it. Boom, we got homecoming. Y'all, it's something wild, I'll buy you. I'm sorry. So I had ended up going to my best friend's house that night because, y'all, I was drunk dramatic in my feelings so i ended up crying going to her best house getting over it boom the next day girl wake me up we finna go to homecoming so she wakes me up y'all and on the way back y'all i'm still kind of drunk so it's kind of like a hangover so i'm like i need to stop me some food i was gonna go to waffle house but i ended up calling my uncle and was like can you quick fix me some breakfast he was like yeah even though it's early as fucking you calling to my some breakfast but he still fixed it so i went over there after i ate i didn't feel too good so i had laid down y'all the lay down turned into like two hours so after the two hours y'all i 
woke up and I was talking to my best friend that I'm not going. Cause y'all, let me tell y'all, it was so many other things I was supposed to do that day. Uh, it was a, sur a surprise birthday party. It was a Lizzo concert. Somebody wanted me to go to with them. Um, yeah, the surprise birthday party. Then my friend concert was in Atlanta. But I did not make it to none of that. And I was like, my best friend was going to go to this homecoming, so I'm going to go to the homecoming. So I got up, ran to my house, got ready. I get to my best friend's house, and they come downstairs to get in the Uber, period. So we get into the Uber. Um, That was already pretty gaming. She bought this little lotion flask. So that was I put like, more alcohol in the little lotion flask or whatever. They had a bottle in the cook, y'all, and they got into the Uber. I'm like, we live at. But anyways... So we end up going to her friend right now. In the free state, yeah, yeah. in the free state. Wow, that's my bad. A lot of people was there. Everybody was there pre game. It was like a brunch. It really was just like alcohol and bagels. Um, so y'all we drinking there, whatever, chilling, da da da. Y'all so this girl has um, and mind you, my best friend has um one of her line sisters. That's who end up coming with us. Hey. Okay. So we end up going to the friend house. Right, right, right. Cool. So, um, yeah, so this girl who was there, she had edibles. Now, she said it was 300 milligram, um, in these, like, these little things like this, but it's like gummies, and it was in this pack. So, she's like, just take a little bit of it, or whatever, or like half, da da So, one of his friends was like, I'm trying to tell, she just came back from Jamaica, she took these edibles from this Jamaica man, this random Jamaica man, this saw her edibles, she ate the whole thing, and was real fucked up. So, she like, traumatized now. So she, I'm like, me, yeah, I it should be bad. I take edibles, and I, I take edibles like I take edibles sometimes. I don't really, I don't smoke or do edibles like that because I don't like the type of high. But y'all, this is never again. I will never take edibles again. So y'all, mind y'all, like I like I do shrooms and stuff. So I'm thinking like it's not gonna be that bad now, ma'am. Shrooms is okay. That edible stuff is a no go. I will never ever take it again. So y'all. We take this little piece, I'm talking about, like, we take, like, a little corner piece of it. Y'all, when I say, when it was time to go, we was outside waiting for the Uber. Y'all, that's when the edibles started hitting everybody. The alcohol and the edibles started hitting everybody. We out there waiting for Uber, y'all. We could feel it on us. Bus! Like, she's been on this bus for Oh, my hours. God. About time we made it to the campus. Folks was messed up. So, huh? I know I'm oh, on the block. Y'all, everybody gets drunk for eight hours at a time. It's the edible. The edible is on me real strong. I don't yeah, even think edible. I ate that much, but I don't know why you ate that much, bro. My mouth is dry I thought, right now. My mouth is dry as hell. Is dry as I, I need some food or something, baby, because my I'm sitting here. Right now and I took like a piece. A piece. We we took the same amount. That's what I'm telling you. My fucking hate. Oh my god! You took the no, I think you took a piece of the amount. Yeah. Damn. Well, I'm. A, I need something, y'all, because I'm. A, yeah, I'm never edibles and shit. Drugs are not for me. Don't do drugs. I don't even know why you do this. They're not. They've never been for you. They never, they never been. They never been for you. I don't know why you did. I just stuck to what I know. The bottle. I don't know why I did that, y'all. Ooh, messed up, y'all. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ha. So first of all, y'all, we had to find y'all know Clark had their homecoming, so they got the shooting or something like that. So now at this homecoming, they were trying to take like oh, precautions or whatever case may be. So now it was a line and tickets and wristbands and all this other stuff. So anyways, we had to find the line, wait in the line. Really, we had to push our way through the line to get up there. But y'all, in the line, the friend, the line sister, y'all, she was. I kept saying, like, me and my best friend, like, we kept looking at each other, like, this is bad, this is bad. But, no, she really was understanding how bad it was. Now, when we was in the line, like, she was just like, I got, I got you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. She was gone too, but she was just kind of like quiet. Like, you know how people get too gone and get quiet? And like, I need to sit down somewhere. Um, then y'all, she kept the friend kept talking to these folks who's beside us. Y'all, the guy was looking at us like, You don't get this girl out of my face. 
Like, I'm looking at my best friend like, she kept telling me, like, stop it, stop it, stop it. Y'all, then at some point, my best friend said that she yelled out, F the another song. I didn't hear it because I was so high, y'all. I was pat. I wasn't even on earth no more. I was just trying to keep myself here enough. Because first of all, y'all, one thing about me is I can get fucked up and I can, I know my limits. I can thug it out. I knew after that, like, I was, I'm not finna mess up my best friend homecoming, so I was gonna thug it out. But I really was going. And I was trying to help my best friend. Really get through the line, y'all. And I got footage when we actually go through the line. My best friend, like, I'm trying, I need to get into the stadium. I gotta do some stuff. Huh? I have to go to the game. Go to the game. Okay. Do you what? want to stay here? Jordy can't leave me with her. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to stay here. She can't leave me with who? Me. Like, you can't leave like, us together. I need to slide over to the game. But, like, everybody's yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Well, maybe yeah. we should just sit down. Can we find a place to sit down? We're like, yeah. four or some shit. Sit down. Yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. We should never did that. Jordy, yeah, she got to sit here. Why should she go in there somewhere? I am done. I'm Give me your hand. There's a lot of people out here though. Hey. They got the old school music. Yeah. Period, they live out here. Hey. Yeah. I've been praying to God the whole time because this is why I don't do things like this. Like, like what? Like, I'm not this guy. That friend is kind of nervous, scared for her, but um, and my other friend right here, she a little better, she good, but she a little better. And it's me, like I'm a gone, but I'm still coherent. I love this one, y'all. I just really want to go eat. And she's like, she's gonna leave her here with me. But y'all, I'm like, I'm not equipped to be left, like, to be taking care of nobody right now. Like, I'm not equipped. That's not the state that I'm in right now. So, go ahead and do what you gotta do, but you gotta come back. We sit everybody down on, like, like these little brick walls or whatever. So, the other girl, oh, the other girl, she gets the thrown up while we was in the line. But she was able to walk through the line. So, when we get in there, everybody sit down. And it was another girl, but she was... She don't do nothing either. So she was just kind of sitting there quiet too because she didn't know what was going on. She didn't really know how to help. And she was just lost because she's like, I already don't do, I don't already don't be under the influence and now I'm under the influence and now everybody tripping. So I don't know what to do. So she was just kind of sitting there looking crazy. So her friend who gave us the edibles, she's throwing up in the wishes. And then I'm like, okay, well, we can go find, I need to go, like, I'm starving. I need to go find food and water, I don't know. So, y'all, I go, and it was, like, so much before you even get into the stadium, like, the actual tailgate part. Y'all ain't even gonna lie. We didn't even, we didn't even make it to the tailgate. Like, I didn't get to experience none of it. I was like, I cannot leave these folks like this. You know, these are not my friends. I cannot leave them like this. So, y'all, I went down, and, um, I was like, oh, and I was like, let me just get something right here. It was like a Caribbean tent that had like these hot dogs. Y'all, let me tell you, I got a picture. Because that hot dog was busting, okay? It had like onion and ketchup, mustard, and the pickle relish, and then it was one of them big sausages. Ooh, y'all, that hot dog was so good. Y'all, I was like, and let me tell y'all, y'all, the whole time yesterday, anytime I ate, my best friend was like, I was like, not yesterday. Well, yesterday too. I was still, yeah. That edible lasted so long. Like I was still high on Sunday, y'all. They, it was real. I was like, cause that, that's how I was eating. Out. I was so hungry. I ain't never been hungry like that. Like I said, baby, I got thick. Oh, it was this weekend. This weekend, baby, I got thick, honey, honey. And y'all, so like, I came back. The girl was not right there. So y'all get the pen again. I'm looking like, and it's like the world is already seeming like a blur to me right now. So I'm looking, I see some people like looking crazy. So I go over there, they're like, this your friend, we're trying to find some water. So then I have the water in my hand. So I give her my water and I'm like, just sit down. So I get the end of my uh, hot dog or whatever. And I'm like, you want some hot dog? She's like, she won't let. I told her to drink the water or whatever. So y'all, we sitting there or whatever. So y'all, 
the girl gets to like fall and sleep or whatever. So she like this. Y'all, this girl's not going to win. Like, hold on. Like, y'all, this how, like, like that. Like, I had to wake her up. And I'm like, I don't even know how she leaned back like that. Like, it was giving crackhead. I don't even know how she leaned back like that sleep. Like, she was stuck like that for a minute. So I hit her and she, like, jumped up. I'm like, oh, no. So I get to call my best friend. Like, best friend, your friend is bad. We got to go now. Meow. So she was like, um, I just danced with, um, he right quick. She was like, let, okay, let me come back. Let me come back. So the friend was like, where's Jordan? I'm like, she's coming. She's coming. So anyway, Jordan comes and she's like, we need to get her home. Like, yes, she needs to go home now. Now, mind you, my business is mad because we're having to leave the homecoming. We didn't even get to go to the tailgate. So, <coughs> ooh, bless me. So we didn't even get to go to the tailgate. Um, we have to come out, y'all. We're dragging her out, and it looks so bad. Like she kept saying, "Put your shades on, put your shades on," cause y'all one hour was up, one last she was down. Like it was so bad, she couldn't even walk, y'all. So we get out to like the sidewalk, trying to call and find an Uber. But where we was at, y'all, they had it blocked off. We couldn't even, we couldn't even get to an Uber. So we just, I just had a sit. Jordan's like, I'm finna go try to find an Uber. And we kind of sat down the curb. Y'all, I'm just kind of like here like this, like just looking around, just trying to chill to Jordan come back. Y'all look over. This girl is standing up, pulling down her pants. I'm like, no, no. I'm like, like, I, but I like how I'm saying to y'all, like how I'm not really screaming. I'm whispering, but I'm kind of loud whispering. That's how I was like, no, no, like sit down, sit down. Like y'all, I'm panicking because I'm like, I'm not finna get embarrassed for this girl because it's not my friend, but... Mind you, like, I know you're part of a sorority. I don't want you to get in trouble with my best friend. You're my best friend friend. I don't even want it to be, like, a whole big thing. So, I'm like, sit down. I'm like, poor person. So, I see people walking, looking. Like, my anxiety is high right now because I'm way too high. And I see people looking. And I don't really know what's going on. So, they're staring at us now. We look very bad. So, I'm like, pull your pants up, pull your pants up. I'm like, did you pull them up? Like, I still people looking. So I'm like, are they pulled up on the side? She's like, are they? I'm like, oh my God. So I come this friend like, girl, your friend just pulled out her pants in front of everybody on the sidewalk. I need you to come back now. So she's like, oh my God. So she come back, y'all. We, Jordan was like, we're not going to get an Uber here. We're going to have to walk out to the front of the campus to get an Uber because there's no way those Ubers are getting back here. So... We get the girl out, we're dragging her. Like, we're dragging her out. We're trying to keep her shades on. She keep, like, bumping and leaning them to everybody. So, she's causing even more attention. So, we're trying to keep her, like, compact in and walking. Then we see some of their sorority people that was them. And she's like, oh, my God, I got to pull off all our stuff that look like we're a part of this sorority. So she started pulling it off. Mind you now, we have to carry clear purses. So it's in the clear purse. Like, it's bad, y'all. So we're just trying to hurry up and get out. So, y'all, we finally get out there. We get into an Uber. We make it back to my best friend's house. So I'm be So my best friend's, like, very livid at this point, man. And she was like, let me see if we can make it back so we can do some of the tailgate stuff. And I'm like, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Once we had made it back and I sat down, I was like, best friend, like, don't be mad. Don't be mad. But I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can make it. Like, can I, like, do you, are you mad if I stay? Like, you go back and I stay and go to sleep and then I catch back up with you at the night activities. And so she was like, never mind, I'm just going to go to sleep too. And I'm like, no, no. I'm like, okay, okay. She's like, no. She's like, no, you right. I'm like, she's like, probably not going to make no sense. We go back, probably going to miss everything. So y'all know she was so mad. So we sat on the couch and we went to sleep. So we walked back up. Some of her, um other line sister or whatever they called and was like uh, well first of all let's wake back up the girl ends up getting back up and was like oh that miss everything and then she was like um well you didn't miss everything but we wasn't really able to do the things that we wanted to do because um you know we had to bring you back home and we didn't get to go back out and so she was like oh well are you doing anything later and so she was like yeah so someone so and so someone so and so asked me to come out to this place called Sewers. So I'm probably going to go out with them. She's like, oh, well, I don't have my sleep now. I'm back up. She's like, no. She cut it out so fast. She said, I don't think you should go nowhere. I think you should go back to sleep. So the girl, you could tell her feelings was immediately like hurt. But basically, my best friend and my best friend, she has Scorpio. She real mean. 
but she's so she she did it the, the best nice way like this is the nicest i've done seen her do something like this so basically she's explaining to her like you're ruining my homecoming um you need to know your limit that was not okay you made us look bad hopefully nobody recorded us hopefully this don't get back to none of uh you know the higher people and then I'm back on any other lines and stuff. Hopefully we don't end up on the internet. Like it was real bad. You pulled your pants down in front of everybody on the sidewalk. Like it was bad. And I don't appreciate it. Cause this you didn't even go to the school. So my best friend's bad. Like this not even your school. This is my school. You call in here acting like this. Like I'm upset with you. So yeah, okay. Well let me just get some leads. So she ended up getting her stuff. She left. Um Mind you, y'all, I'm so I'm so silly. I was I was on the couch. I was playing sleep because I didn't want to be I didn't want to be awkward. Just be there in the middle of the conversation. I was playing sleep. Uh, but after she left, my best friend was like, "Bitch, I know you're not asleep." I'm like, "I'm dead." Not to know I was playing sleep. Like I'm like, it was awkward. I didn't want to be in the conversation. But anyway, so um, basically, y'all. So she left and then me and my best friend we went out to the silver's place or whatever i'm not gonna lie y'all i really couldn't enjoy it for real because i was just so high like i was just so high my best friend like i could tell that you was fighting fighting for your life to be there and i'm like yeah like i was not here on earth i was still fighting for my life so eventually she was just like she's like you was kind of real focused on it i was like yeah i was trying so hard to be normal and she's like, I tell my friends, like, she don't know really like this. She's just high as fuck right now. And which I was. I was so high. I don't never want to be that high again, y'all. Oh. But yeah, so um, I ended up getting this hummus. Like, this place was expensive, y'all, but I ended up getting this hummus. She said I ate the hummus like <laughs> which I I'm like, I probably was, y'all. I probably was like, y'all, oh, when we came back home. You did this last time and you regretted it, so I'm gonna regret it. Just got up. Not too long ago. I'm still high. Um, I'm not to do it again. I don't have all this stuff. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, I'm still high. Really bad. Really. I'm not going to be awake for it, but just still shoot me a text. But. I'll be awake for it. Still shoot me a text. Better. Definitely. Alright, Dave. I'm still red. My best friend got this buffalo chicken dip from Trader Joe's with the banana chips. Y'all, I was like, oh, oh, oh. Like scrape, she's talking about some damn bitch. Like you scrape the bowl, like it's no more. I'm like, bitch, I'm about to bowl. It was gone, y'all. Like then, I woke up. She had McDonald's. I'm like, she's talking about some. It's the way I said that McDonald's. You said you had McDonald's. <laughs> she was like, do you also? I'm like, bitch, she's talking about some. I gave you some fries. You ate up all the fries. I'm like, oh my god, I don't even remember. She's talking about no because you went right back to sleep after you ate all the fries. Like it was so. And so I woke up. I had ordered me some more McDonald's or whatever. And then we went to the Silver's place. Hey, Then next morning I woke up and realized y'all had to go get my son and realized that I didn't have no damn keys. Y'all, we never found them keys. Them keys is somewhere at tailgate. We were trying to go back in our mind and remember when the last time I had them keys and when the last time we was talking about the keys. It was in tailgate. Right before stuff started getting real ugly, y'all. The keys was never found. I had to, y'all, and what's crazy is we was calling around trying to get somebody. We couldn't get nobody. We found, we had somebody that was like 205 and then probably an extra fee for them to come out there. So we're like, okay, we're going to keep calling just to see if we get some cheaper. Y'all, so this man was like, uh, I'm kind of asking like, what was the price? I'm like, well, I'm going to see what I have to do and I'm going to tell you when I get there. I'm going to work with you. I'm like, okay. Y'all, the man get here and do the job in 10 minutes and say 450 Baby, I said, you crazy, you're out your mind, because I'm not paying it. I said, it's okay, thank you for breaking in my car. I don't need the key. He said, well, no, I can work with you, I can work with you. Okay, what about 350 Like, I'm like, yeah, because that's what I'm trying to ask you, because the other person said two-something. And I, he said, well, it probably would have went up after he got here, and da 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 I'm like, well, no, that's not what they said when I asked him what the price was. I was asking you what the price was before you came out here, because now I'm upset, because I'm not giving you 450 Like, I'm already up telling me, like, you can just order the extra keys offline for a lot cheaper. 
So, we're just gonna give me some extra keys just in case some things like that happen again because you ain't a bullet key. Like, I don't even got like the little beep beep or whatever situation. I just, you know, it's the key to get in and turn on my car. But, yeah, me messed up. Boy, if you say, boy, boy, I'm not paying that. It's okay, but you can keep you can keep the key. I don't want it. Now, he heard him trying to make something up then, in which, like, my mom was like, he really charged you $100 more. I'm like, yeah, because the other person was like $205 and then probably $30 to come out. So, what if it was giving $250? So, he did charge me a whole nother $100 more. I said, but first of all, my best friend is a rich bitch. And she's saying some condos in Midtown. So, he saw where we was at and he thought that I was a rich bitch too. But, baby, I haven't made it there yet. I'm not a rich bitch yet. And, um, $450 is, I'm not willing to get that to you. I'm just not willing to get that to you. I have nothing to do. I have bills to pay. My, uh, Halloween is this week, the next weekend. My best friend's birthday is the next weekend right after that. $450? No, sir. So, yeah, I was very upset. So I don't even think I want to go out for Halloween weekend besides taking Zakat trick or treating that Monday. But I don't know if I want to go out this weekend because I'm kind of upset that. You know, and I was upset because, but I wasn't mad. I was mad about them keys though. Because I said, like, my best friend was mad because she was like, you probably wouldn't even lost your Because you're good with keeping it. You keep up with mine and your stuff. Like, you would never even lost them keys. You wouldn't have to take your that girl. But I'm like, I'm not mad at nobody or whatever. I am kind of mad at them keys. But yeah, so that's that. Y'all, that was homecoming 2022. It was not really much to tell because we didn't even really get the experience yet. So, my best friend, Matt, because she's talking about something like, this is the first homecoming in a long time. Like, the same people, that, like, they're not coming back next year. They're probably not coming back for the next five years. Um, You know, this was a lit homecoming because I think they, yeah, they didn't have one since the pandemic. And her last one was freshman year, and then everybody came back this year. Like, it was just a lot. And she was upset that we didn't really get to just turn up like we should have. So, Next year, we'll try to do homecoming again. Might not be the same, but at least we could try again. And yeah, y'all, so that was homecoming 2022. I hope y'all like this little short story time. Um, The hair. And free -free. Follow me on TikTok. That's where all my post stuff go. And Instagram is where all my dance stuff go. So, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.